Mandy, you've just kicked off a fundraising effort for yes. this theater. Tell us about that. We have um, a fundraising effort specifically for the Wagner Theater. Um, we kick that off in July, um, kind of during the Lancaster Festival when people were in the theater and thinking about this and we had the amazing production of Cinderella. And we are going to raise $250,000 to um, do some pretty amazing things in here. We've got the talent, we've got um, the audience, and now it's time to get the theater up to a point that we that these people can be entertained and hear what's going on in the theater. So tell us about, you said, get the theater up up to a point. Victor, I guess we'll start with you. Tell me about the challenges that the current setup of the theater has. Well, I think we've worked beautifully with what we have. Absolutely. Um, for a long time, this was empty. It wasn't being used. About five years ago, I was hired on to rejuvenate the theater process. Um, the lighting, the acoustical, the seating, all that is from 19... Is it 1968? Late 1960s. Uh -huh. 68. So our students need to be um, have the equipment available to compete as they move forward out into the real world with the right lighting board, the right audio board, um, all those necessary tools. From an academic standpoint, you touched on it a little bit here, but they need to have those modern technology things right. to be educated to go out and do this. Right, and one of those examples is we were asked to go to On the Green last year, the alumni event down in Athens. We took our Lend Me a Tenor show down there, and it was a beautiful time. But our students were into their new, new lighting equipment, and they're like, wow, what's this? We don't have that. I'm like, I know we're working on it, but it was an amazing facility, and it gave us a glimpse of what we wanted to have here. Okay. And, and Mandy, from a community standpoint, I know you've heard that some people, if they're way in the back of the house, have a hard time hearing. Tell us about yes. That. Well, and I mean, I'm one of those people, actually. I've told Me people too. that I've talked to. <laughs> I've told people I've talked to about this campaign. I said, you know, my son was in Cinderella. I went to six out of the seven performances, sat in a different seat each time and had a different sound or acoustical experience each time. So it really is a testament. And, and if you talk to anybody who comes to our, whether it's a theater production or a concert or whatever they come to in this theater, um, they're going to tell you that, that the sound is probably the biggest hindrance on their experience. Wow. Um, and so, Victor, is that, I mean, we've said it's an acoustic issue. Do we know any more about what, why that is? We do. We consulted uh, some experts uh, from live technology up in Columbus mm -hmm. who've come in and, and talked with us about it and, and told us how they're going to help us solve the issue. 